Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm joined by Jenny Ruth, who is with Primary Residential Housewife. Mortgage Incorporated. Welcome to the show. Mom. Thank you so much. I'm we're happy to be here. Oh, we're thrilled to have you here, and I'm certainly yeah. excited to talk to you about <laughs> what's been going on in your world. Daily in your life, world, because so much going you know, on. as much as we've got it's a TV a show going on here, you've day. been it's pretty involved in TV lately too. Yeah, we were uh, fortunate enough to be able to be involved with a segment on Lifetime's Designing Spaces. Very cool. Yep, it was really fun. That Lifetime Network has grown so much over the years. And of course, they've grown into so many different areas. Absolutely. So to see them in the you know the the, the world of homes and right. getting a home is pretty exciting. But one of the things that uh, I think not just atypical of their view, viewer, but of most is the things that people are confused about when it mm -hmm. comes to buying a home. We think we know, mm -hmm. you know, we've seen, maybe we've seen our parents buy a home or something like that. And when we come, when it comes time to buy our first home, we think we have some kind of an idea. Right. Typically we have a lot of <laughs> things that are flawed in the way of our thinking. Absolutely. I feel like uh, a lot of times people who have never purchased a home before might be confused and feel like there are so many different things that they need to do in order to qualify. Right. And they aren't aware of all of the special programs that are available to help them get into that first home. Sometimes they wait uh, thinking, oh, I've got to have 20% down. And yeah. they wait years when they probably could have got a home sooner. Absolutely. I think people oftentimes feel like they have to rent until they have a 20% down right. payment or perhaps a, a perfect credit score. And in the truth is there's really a lot of programs that would allow them to get in with as low as three and a half percent down uh, there's even state specific programs that can help with the down payment above and beyond that so Absolutely. it's really important for people to take the time if their dream is to own a home to meet with a mortgage lender and find out what programs are available to help them accomplish that dream and this was the premise of which you guys were on designing spaces was helping a, a new young couple looking for a home yep and dispelling some of those uh, those myths yep absolutely Absolutely, they were uh, they were feeling like they were basically required to keep renting for a long time, and after going through all of the process, they were able to purchase their first home and found out that in fact their payment was less as a home buyer than it was when they were renting. Which we find quite commonly, isn't it? It's that surprising. Case? Yeah. Yeah. So people that uh, have thought, yeah, this is the only way, right. are losing out on equity Absolutely. <laughs> every day that right. they stay in that apartment. Yeah, and just the, you know, the feeling of owning your own home is such a wonderful thing. So we really want to help people find out if there are different things available to help them get into that home and accomplish the dream of buying their, their first home. Maybe we could uh, dis, uh, dispel a couple more of the myths, perhaps. Could you tell us a couple more things that people think that aren't quite correct? Oh, absolutely. I think oftentimes, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about down payment. That's probably the biggest one. Yeah. And credit. Um, for a while there, it was a little bit tougher to get a mortgage, but right. the market has really relaxed. And yeah, it's they a, overcorrected a, a little, didn't they? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit for a while. And I think we're finally back to a good, a good time and um, home values are starting to climb which is another myth people feel like maybe it's not a good time to buy because they see on the news that people have maybe turned ended up in a situation where they're upside down in their home and owe right. more than it's worth but we're seeing um, nationwide that home values are starting to climb and interest rates are very low it's a great time to buy because there's a really good chance that you can get a perfect interest rate that will help you keep your house payment low um, and get more house for it right and absolutely that's a big thing I think people don't recognize is that we're talking about a you know a half a percent or a percent increase yeah changes your monthly payment to 200 bucks well depending on the loan amount yeah, yeah it's a factor of how much your loan amount is but right. yes it definitely can have a big impact um, another thing that people sometimes are, are concerned about or think when they're purchasing purchasing a home is that how much money they make determines how much they can qualify for yeah. but there are other things to consider such as what their debt load is we have to look at not only how much is coming in but how much do they have going out each month before we can determine what payment they could qualify for right one of the be best things that you can do for that is certainly sitting down with someone ahead of time and not just because uh, a lot of people think that a pre-approval means something really important but what really matters is pre-qualification yeah There's a very big difference here isn't there there absolutely is that's a great distinction um, we actually only will issue a pre-qualification letter after we've looked at someone's income and assets documentation their credit report and send all of that over to our underwriting department so that they can evaluate the person and make sure that what we're telling them that they could pre-qualify for is an actual really good chance that they will qualify right is it there's nothing worse than finding the home that you really wanted because you thought you were pre-approved right. for the amount. You get there and suddenly the rugs pulled out from through. under you. Absolutely. That's a scary thing. Yeah, we definitely don't ever want that to happen. Yeah, definitely. And the time frame that this should happen before purchasing a home, when 
is it right when we start thinking, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about buying a home, is that when we should come see somebody? I actually definitely would recommend that. I feel like if somebody starts thinking, you know, that's the path that I would like to take, it's time for you to meet with a qualified mortgage professional and sit down, go through all of the different things that might impact your ability to purchase a home and determine if you are already possibly ready to take those next steps or if there are things that you might need to do in order to qualify sometime down the road. When people uh, start to think about this, one of the things that they become concerned about is sharing some of their personal information, sitting down and talking with somebody about it, having to admit to some mistakes in their sure. lives, right? This is probably not as big a concern as people put on it, is it? I, I don't think so. Um, obviously, it's something that people are concerned about, and nobody likes to admit when maybe there's been a mistake in their past. but. A true mortgage lender is not there to judge you, they're there to help you. Right. And we've all had mistakes along the way, so if you have had maybe some missed payments or other things like that on your credit, the most important thing to do is meet with a professional so that they can help you make the steps to improve your overall credit score and therefore right. your chance of qualifying for a home. You know, there's we've certainly heard in the, in the press before that there's no such thing as uh, a credit repair or, or a credit, you know, like fixing your credit. Right. But there certainly are and I, I, my own experience here, there are certainly times when if you are meeting with a professional and they mm -hmm. tell you what you need to do, you can write a letter or you can call some of the places where you did maybe have a mistake. Right. And surprisingly, they can back off whatever thing they put if they f deem it appropriate. Yeah, there's definitely steps that you can take. And primary residential mortgage isn't a credit repair right. or you know credit exactly. expert. But we do have a lot of experience and we can help people maybe take um, take the steps that they would need to, to pay off some debts right. that maybe are behind. Mitigate or the damage. Absolutely. Been done. Yep. Yeah, that's another one. Just having the right letter to go with your, uh, you know, your packet is, right. is just as important, isn't it? And oftentimes, um, a letter of explanation that kind of spells out what caused the things to happen can right. really help. Um, a bank will look at it hopefully with some common sense and say, "Oh, well, that was a one-time occurrence," and hopefully, based on what we see from the last year or two years of credit history. Um, Mr. Buyer will not actually have that happen again and we feel confident that we could lend to this person. Right, no one's going to be real surprised if you say that you lost your job three years ago right. and you had a tough time for six months until Absolutely. you got a new job. That's not going to be a big shock. No, nope, it's understandable and oftentimes if we can see that people have made the steps to correct any of the missed payments and going forward they have this ability and they've shown the intent to repay, that's the most important thing. And then fin in finality here, one of the big things that obviously this helps you do in meeting with someone in a advance right. it's finding out what kind of home you're able to purchase so that you purchase one that is appropriate to your pay scale and to Absolutely. your life. Absolutely. Right. And they can sit down with you and, and show you different payment options. So not only what do you qualify for, but what do you actually feel comfortable for within your own budget? Because we might be able to pre-qualify you for a payment of $2,000, but if that doesn't actually work with your budget based on what you know about your spending habits, then we can work the numbers backwards to meet the payment that you're more comfortable with. Awesome. Yeah. Is there a chance to see this episode still? Oh, absolutely. Okay, it's going to air that. on Friday, February 21st on mm -hmm. Lifetime. Um, the time that it is airing varies, so you can check on Lifetime's website to yeah, see what your local listings right there. Yep. All right. Well, Jenny, I want to thank you so very much oh, for being here. You. Primary Residential Mortgage Incorporated. Mm -hmm. What is the uh, web address for you guys? Uh, primaryresidentialmortgage.com. That's simple. Pretty easy. <laughs> All right. Thanks so thank much you. for being here. <laughs> Certainly uh, very, very good, helpful information right there if you're yeah. looking to buy a home. You might want to check in with them right away to yep. start uh, thinking about what you need to do to plan to do exactly that. We'll be back with more right here on the Mountain Morning Show after these commercial messages. Mm -hmm.